Hey Taurus, I'm Rena Wells, your spiritual catalyst, and welcome to my channel. If you're new, I'm sure there's something here for you because I completely play in law of vibration and law of attraction. So please take a look around, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and I'm sure you'll find something that you've been um, wanting to resonate with for a while. And if you are returning, you know I always hold a very special place in my heart for my soul tribe so that we continue to manifest and create peace on earth because that's what I'm all about. So, okay, let's get started. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising. I'm doing the Gypsy Interconnection spread. If you guys don't know what that is, it's a spread that was taught to me when I was very little. I was only eight years old. It's a great spread. It was passed down to by some cool-ass Gypsy lady. <laughs> and uh, yeah, she said she was taught it when she was little and she wanted to pass it down. And so she passed it down to me. And so you won't find it anywhere else. It's a really awesome spread. So let's bring the blueprint down for Taurus. Please spread. Please bring the blueprint down for Taurus. Sun moon and rising plate for Taurus for December 1st to the 15th. This is for your love interest, whoever you are thinking of. I mostly do deal with twin flames, so I do speak in divine masculine and divine feminine terms. Okay, so it is however the energies are within inside of you and whoever you're thinking of. Okay. Remember, these are general, okay, so the roles can be reversed. Also, if you want to work with me, if you would like to know more about me, take a look at my site, RainaWells.com. You can read all the wonderful testimonials, testimonials that people have said about me. And if you would like a coaching session, I do give free coaching sessions, but please be aware that um, I don't accept all applications. I have over 40 people that are in queue right now, so please bear with me that I have to go through each one and I am intuitively pulled to to work with. So please take a look. All that information is down below. All right. Let's get started, guys. Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising Spirit. Then I'm going to do one more shuffle and cut again. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising. Okay, thank you. Okay. So we're going to take the energies on the bottom, okay? I'm not taking reversals, okay, guys? I read intuitively. If Spirit says to take it upside down, I will, okay? But mostly I do do upright. Okay, so unless I do a reading, when I do a reading, I open up to all energies, so a personal reading. Okay. Spirit. So we have a saying that we have focus. So this is about refocusing yourself towards. That's really what I'm feeling. Getting really, um, yeah, putting the actual action in now. Okay. They're saying that you're at a place that you've been healing. You've been doing the work. Oh yeah. Look, so we have the hangman on the bottom. So yeah, you've been doing the work. Now it's really to start focusing, changing what you really want to manifest in your life, okay? So you're gaining enlightenment. That's why things haven't been moving because you've been doing this inner work, which is really amazing, right? So it's fine with where you're at right now. Um, oh, yeah, you're going through a different transformation. So because you're going through this massive transformation, you're in a hanged man place for sure. And this is just to get you refocused. So it's not that spirit has forgotten you. Spirit hasn't forgotten you. This is just one of those lull periods for you. Okay, Taurus, this is about a renewal of self. This is renewing your connection. This is coming into a brand new vibration. This is like standing in front of this beautiful angel, you know, um, and you're naked and you're vulnerable and you have to look at deeply at your stuff. This is looking at your darkness. Okay. So Taurus, this is really about getting refocused, really looking at the dark stuff, really looking at the things that you haven't been wanting to look at. I know that can be really difficult, but Spirit is saying this is going to bring a true renewal. This is to bear, uh, you know, fully, uh, yeah, so Spirit is saying like we come into this world naked, we die naked. This is dying to the ego. This is being, and when you die, you you leave. You you don't take your clothes. You don't take your money. You don't take anything with you, right? Um, my dad always says it's better to be uh, or late in this life than early in the next. Just, I don't know why that came up. So it's kind of like that. It's like you have to kind of, you know, look at where you're renewing yourself because Spirit is saying in that saying that there's that they brought through, it's better to be late in this life than early in the next is, you know, you don't want to miss anything in this life. So take the time that you're doing right now, Taurus, to refocus yourself, okay? in this connection for sure. So let's see what's going on with the connections between you and the person that you're thinking of. Okay, divine masculine, divine feminine energies. Oops. 
What is going on here, Spirit? Can you please clarify? Bring down the energies for Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising, please. So, yeah, major transformation. And I feel this is all the integrating part that's happening from Scorpio. I've been getting that a lot with the other signs as well. It's like we're really in an integration process right now in the energies. So it's like really taking time to learn. Uh, it's actioning what we've learned, right? That's really what it is. Okay, Spirit, saying that's good. That one was weird. That top one just flipped up really strangely, but we're going to take it because the way that I read this is from the inside out and um, we take it in all directions. However, I'm intuitively guided. Okay. Da, da, da. So, sorry guys, my lighting is there. So here we have the masculine right at the bottom and we have the divine feminine over here. Sorry, my camera's reversed. Um, in the middle is the energy that are that's playing out right now. It's this, a new offer that wants to come forward for Taurus, but there's heartbreak. It could be a third party situation. Something is blocking this. Okay, connection here. We have divine masculine, divine feminine that are connected could be that you're somewhat connected in physical. You could have, oh, some communication. No. Hold on, guys. Let me put it back together. Hey, guys. So I'm just going to keep it down here. Just, <laughs> But I'll tell you. So the masculine feminine energies are definitely at the bottom. Okay. So they're grounded. Could be some communication, but it's not um, that consistent. There are things that are hidden. We have the high priestess here. Okay. So because of the stability something um, the masculine is hiding and the feminine energy. So the energies that are playing out is whatever um, stable connection that came in, which is the ace of pentacles that came in, um, something was blocking it for it to actually physically manifest in the physical world. Okay. There is probably a third party situation that's happening. Um, I hate to say that. And third party doesn't necessarily mean a person could be a job, could be a mother. It could be um location, you know, that you're, you're physically separated. So just be aware that there's something that's getting in the way, right? We also have the Ace of Wands here and the Divine Feminine is holding this new passion, this passion here at the top. We have the Ace of Wands, so a passionate new beginning, but there's still things that aren't quite uncovered here in the passionate new beginning. Okay. So there's still things that are still unknown to both parties. Um, and because there is a shift in this energy and getting refocused right now and things have ended, I feel like this is a whole new renewal that's coming about. I've been getting that a lot for all the signs. Even in my personal readings, people are beginning into new vibration. Like we really are collective, guys. We, things are really do happen on like a very strong um, collective level. <sighs> Yeah. And let's clarify this, <clears throat> this three of, this three of, uh, swords here. Clarify the three of swords. What's going on here with the three of swords for Taurus? Yeah. I'm getting the three of cups with the three of swords. That really does tell me that there's something that's in the way <clears throat> that created a crossroads and an imbalance here. Okay. Trying to balance out. There wasn't reciprocity. There wasn't a give and take. Couldn't physically manifest. And so definitely divine masculine energy is holding something back because he's directly connected to the high priestess here. So let's clarify that. Clarify the high priestess with the divine masculine. Yeah, seven of swords. See? Yeah, disown. I see that. Um, they weren't very happy about this and they weren't being completely honest with you, Taurus. Okay, so there was some shady ah, shit going on. There was some shady behavior, wasn't being honest, trying to strategize there in, in the background um, without telling you things, you know, so there's definitely something that was happening here um, that you didn't quite know about, that Divine Feminine didn't know about, that Masculine was holding back. What was this, Spirit? Can you clarify? Uh, yeah. And they walked away because of this. So they, it, I feel it is third party situation. Um, something happened that they had to walk away here. How is divine masculine feeling towards divine feminine here? Yeah. See, we've got the queen of wands. So yeah, uh, totally, you know, somebody else, something else is, is happening here or something passionate that they actioned, uh, something could be lustful that they actioned, you know? Um, so that's where they're moving towards that's where the energies are. I feel this person is still with this person. What is going on with this person with the Queen of Wands? Clarify the Emperor with the Queen of Wands, please, Spirit. Clarify the Emperor with the Queen of Wands. What is going on in this connection? 
Yeah. They're at a standstill. They're looking at how to move forward. Okay. So we've got the three of them. They're looking. They're waiting. They're not really actioning much. There is the page of cups here. Yeah. They're trying to... There's definitely... Um, See, when I see the seven of wands with the nine of pentacles, it's like they're defensive about being alone. <laughs> it's like, I don't want to be alone. So there's something codependent that's happening here. Um, they're trying to, you know, really give the action um, their path. They're really trying to give each other love. So they're trying to make this work right now. Okay. Let's clarify the divine feminine towards the divine masculine. Let's go on with the divine feminine towards the divine masculine. Okay, so the Seven of Pentacles with the Ten of Pentacles, so kind of waiting, uh, waiting for the abundance and waiting for this physical manifestation of um, the coin, you know, but what I'm really feeling is like waiting for this family unit, kind of wanting, I feel like Taurus, like you haven't had that family unit, you've been wanting to build that and that's something that you've been, you're trying, you want to invest in, that's what you want. Let's clarify the Ten of Pentacles. I don't feel like you should be waiting, though. Let's clarify the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, wanting victory and success out of this. Clarify the Seven of Pentacles for Divine Feminine. Yeah, see, there was some, maybe some abrupt communication. You could be stalking them on Facebook or whatever, but um, there was some type of abrupt communication of a new beginning here that was quickly actioned, and you're kind of left here like, well, I was investing in this what the hell, right? And and it kind of put you, pushed you, you gained clarity and it pushed you into it a different direction, into starting something new. So there was some passion here. Let's clarify the ace of, yeah, let's clarify the stability, the ace of pentacles that was underneath because something got in the way and it was this other connection, which we know now, right? Yeah, a decision was made with the lovers, right? So somebody made a choice. And let's clarify the Ace of Wands here for Taurus. Yeah, we got the sun, the moon. Wow, okay. We got the, we got the sun, the moon. So there was darkness in this passion, okay? It may not have been the healthiest thing that you've become illuminated to. Created a lot of pain, Nine of Swords here, okay? But it was clarity and truth that was given to you. So I feel that here for Taurus, it is a time of transformation and renewal. I'm going to clarify here because I feel like spirit is like, you've been really focusing on yourself now, working hard on that, which is really good. And that you're starting to gain the enlightenment here of the situation and understanding of the situation of what's happened here. And it's helping you to transform and really put an end to things so that you can move forward. Because I don't feel this person, I feel this person is really wanting to try and make it work with this other person they're putting the effort in like there's offers that are happening there um and this is a renewal for for yourself okay whoever you're watching whoever's watching this let's clarify um let's clarify the death here for taurus it's time to look at the darkness yeah it's an internal battle it's fighting right an internal battle because of something abruptly was communicated and um, you gained a lot of information very quickly, very abruptly, um, and it created an ending. And um, you have this fight that's happening inside of you now, and Spirit says that needs to transform now, okay? Clarify the hanged man, because you gained, you've gained the insight. Spirit's saying it's time to move on to the next leg of your journey, Taurus. Yeah, it's done. See, the hangman is, is done. The cycle is done. You've gained the enlightenment. You know all you need to know about the situation. There's no more hanging on to it. So spirit really wants you to, you know, you've been doing the work. They recognize you. You've been doing the work. Good work, right? Good focus. You've been doing the work. It's now time to move into this renewal stage. Let's clarify the judgment. Yeah. Yeah. So the three, I'm just looking at like this three here is like, yeah, how are you going to work? How are you going to collaborate? How are you going to meet new people and collaborate with new people? It's a renewal of self. There's new people that want to manifest and come into your life. You've been having strength. Okay. This is also about, um, holding back from nostalgia, from things from the past, from the soulmate. Okay. It could have been a soulmate connection, but definitely this is what I'm feeling more from the past repeating itself. You need to have the courage to hold, tame your ego about it. When past energy comes in, it really pulls you into a depressive state. Remember that guys, anything that triggers past shit, 
uh, 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 it pulls you into depression. That's what depression is. It's past. It's past. It's all past. It's all old shit. It's not new. When you're worried, when you get anxiety, it's because you're so worried about the future. You can only be in the present and allow the present to unfold. And that's what spirit really wants you to get into this place of renewal for yourself. The present, it really is a gift, right? I know it's cliche, but it really is a gift. So that you can really be in that place of just honoring it for what it is and really hold yourself back from engaging from anything from the past. Okay? And that's what's happening, Taurus. So you have a new beginning that's coming up for Divine Feminine. Those masculines putting their effort in elsewhere. Clarify this new beginning, the fool here for Divine Feminine. Yeah. You're moving on away from toxicity. Okay, this new beginning is coming to Divine Feminine because this was toxic. Okay. Trapped, codependency none of that for you okay taurus clarify the eight of pentacles i really feel that's just you refocusing yourself it was to get you refocused and anything what happened in this situation was to get you refocused so that you knew the direction to go in and sometimes we have to be shown the pathways that aren't good for us so that we can know yeah this is so you can start nurturing yourself divine feminines okay and to get really focused in that okay now, if you are a divine mask, if you are a masculine watching, I mean, take it as it resonates. This could be you as well. So just no roles are reversed. It's just it's such a general reading, but that's that's what's happening for you, Taurus. Okay, let's uh, get a healing message for you, and then I will go and do the extended. If you do want the extended and you want downloadable um, meditations, and um, I just started, it's only one meditation on there right now, but I have another one coming up for December first. We have monthly Q and A, and you get all the YouTube extensions. You get fifteen percent off readings with me take a look it's down below okay so i'm gonna go to the extent for this and then it's just the energy is then channeled just directly for those members so it's a little bit smaller okay so what is going on here spirit in regards to healing messages here for taurus sun moon and rising please spirit from december 1st to the 15th for taurus sun moon rising in venus thank you spirit For Taurus, I'm in the rising in Venus, please. This is Taurus, December 1st of 15th. We have a healing message. Thank you. <sighs> Practical intuition. And look, we have a little rabbit there. I don't know if you guys can see the little rabbit. That's really about like new beginnings and um, usually around springtime, but spring brings in the essence of like the newness and freshness and new growth. So this is a whole new. Um, vibe that you're going into and this is like using your intuition you know what's right for you taurus okay this is about using your intuition here this is about sitting here in the grass being one with the earth being in your intuitive under the moon here facing your darkness you've been doing that and really knowing that you have to move on from this and it's time to you know know that spirit is bringing a lot of abundant things here a lot of harvest for you it could be coming in the spring so um yeah really good things and this is you know some goddess energy here on this rock there's like the goddess swirls i don't know if you guys can see that yeah and look at the lights and everything it's just really beautiful and the maze and realizing coming out of this maze of the mind it's like that was just way too toxic that's really what i'm picking up on i feel for a lot of you taurus that that was really a catalyzing uh, experience if you are dealing with a twin flame there's still a lot of karma that still needs to be done, um, work through. Um, I don't know. I'm just feeling that this person just has a lot of work to do and has a lot of, um, I feel like there could be something new for you if that's a twin flame that's coming in. And um, if it's not, then I feel like it was more of a catalyzing connection to get you more directed on your path. Okay, so much love, guys. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. That would be amazing. And um, comment down below. I like to read and I try to do my best to respond to everybody as much as I can. If I do miss you, I'm sorry. Okay, bye, guys. I hope, I hope, I can't even speak. I hope. <laughs>